What's up, everybody? Kyle from Beards and Boosts. Jonathan's with me holding the camera today. Oh, oh. Yeah, we're here. Uh, I decided to pull a Jonathan and just spend lots of money and just not think twice about it. Oh. Then, so that's what we're doing today. We're working on my ST this time. Uh, last time you joined us, I think I had bad tires and holy, we've got that fixed now. Uh, but now we're starting to tear down. We went ahead and skipped some steps. We didn't record everything. And honestly, the way we do things is give you more of an idea of the process instead of a step-by-step -step thing. There's a lot of those out there, so you can do that later. Uh, today's install for what we're going to show right now is I went ahead and got the XL kit from CPE. Uh, I went ahead with race red from the hip because as you've seen my white car, most of the accents on are red. Uh, I know you're probably never really going to even see this once it's installed, but Jonathan went with the black one, so I figured I'd go with the red one just so we could check it out and see what it looked like. Uh, the finish on it's great. Uh, whenever I finally do spend more money and get an intake, I probably will go to red as well. Uh, but once again, with every other experience we've had with CP, they have amazing quality and awesome product. And so I went ahead also with the HKS Super Sequential Blow Off Valve. Uh, me and John talked about this before we hit the record button. It's one of those things if you've ever, you know, I got into tuner cars around the time I started driving cars in general. And the ST is my first turbo car. So I'm excited to say like I went with this just because honestly, that's the sound that I've heard for years. My whole life of dreaming of a turbo car was that sound, was that blow off sound. Uh, so Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan went with the tie one and it sounds amazing. That's another reason I went with HKS because I said, I want to do something different. And so you guys gotta have more of an option to see what it sounds like one versus the other. We can compare them uh, back to back. It's not about which one sounds better or which one's the best. Honestly, for us, it's just, difference of opinion and we just wanted to try both of them out. So we're going to jump into this today from what we've read and seen on other YouTube videos. It can be a trying process, but we feel pretty confident about it. Jonathan did the tire one by himself without much issues, you know, other than just taking some time to do it. So we're going to jump into it. Big Bob's on his way. He's going to jump in at some point. Uh, so you may see him randomly in the videos, but uh, we'll introduce him more later when he jumps in. Uh, I'm hoping he gets here before he gets installed because we need some good blow-off valve sounds. We got some good exhaust sounds from him uh, when we put the cob cap back on. And so we need some blow-off valve sounds from him too so we can compare which sounds better, Bob or HKS. Well, what do you think it's going to sound like? I'm excited about Bob or the HKS because I'm excited for Bob. I figure if Bob can do it, we can end up putting, you know, mixing the old video film of showing him doing, you know, revving up and blowing off in one video. So, oh man, that'd be a movie. Yeah, we'll do a whole movie about Bob. <laughs> We won't tell him about it. We'll It'll be Fast and Furious movie. style. Just Bob. Yeah, it's Fast <laughs> and Bob. Or maybe just Bob and Furious. Yeah. Get a better one. But uh, thanks for joining us today. I will jump in on this. Honestly, like I said, we're probably not going to show a ton. If we see any hints or helps thing or helpful things, we'll let you know. But uh, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks. All right. Got the factory one out. Uh, honestly, it went pretty simple and pretty smooth. The only issue I really had was whenever we put the intercooler, aftermarket intercooler on the car, what, months ago, we didn't think, and the clamp was stuck towards the top and it was right behind the radiator subframe. So I had to use a shorty screwdriver and fight with this, but I finally got it, uh, it came out. But everything else came out real simple. Uh, now we're about to mount the HKS blow off valve to the actual piping. Um, we'll get going there and then we'll start working on installing that. Uh, Jonathan, you wanna show them what you did? So I already knocked out the uh, stock blow off valve. So if you go back to my video, when I installed the XL kit, you saw I had tons of issues. I stripped out some bolts. I had to wait for another day and get some uh, bolt extractors, but uh, not this time. This time I was well prepared. I had my nifty little Allen key. It's no problem. Right, there's the stock parts coming out. There's the block off plate, and then we plug the um, vacuum source with a golf tee. All right, now what you thinking? All right. We battled it and battled it and battled it, and we've got a little bit of war paint, or I say scratches anyway. But she's on there. She's hurt. Um, it's okay. Nobody's ever gonna see it. And honestly, like I said earlier, nobody's ever gonna see the red anyway. I just think it looks cool, and it was cool to see the finish on it. Uh, 
the right tool always helps to do the right job. Uh, thank you for Ricky, our good friend Ricky Lyles, who's got a bunch of old school tools. So he had these, uh, what is it technically called? The ring, snap ring, snap ring plugs. We had two sets. We had one that wasn't so much heavy duty that we just kept fooling with and it kept releasing and not working. Tried these out, we got it right in there. So good to go. Next step of the process and Bob's finally here now. So I made it. Okay. All right. Ow! Oh, ow! Oh, I mean. Just in case you didn't know, uh, Jonathan uses a weight bench and a weight rack system to use for his recording. And, uh, Pretty sure I just dented that 45 pound plate. <laughs> I thought I saw a busy knee. <laughs> <laughs> well, first practice, we'll see what happens. So, Please don't practice. blow up. I need money. so it didn't slam into the ground, but uh, now we think we've got it on. We'll try. Worst case, it blows off again. HKS blow off out. I mean, we're, we're legit off. blowing off over yeah. here. Y'all are part-time blowing off. We're legit blowing off. So, let's see what we got. All right, so here we are. We've got the CPE with the HKS Super Sequential installed now. We're on the test drive. Thankfully, we have not blown off the blow off valve, but let's see what it sounds like. What's up? Yeah? <laughs> Alright, we're live. 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 Yeah, we did it. Woo! That's a wrestling kick right there. I don't know. Everything went well. Uh, the second time. So, first time, you all saw what happened. Second time, we've gone all out in the country. We've 
Got a little bit of boost, a lot of boost. Everything's still there. So we're still getting blown off. Everything's still going well. And the blow-off valve is not. So it's still good. So I think everything's good to go. Let's put everything back together. Uh, we're going to jump into tuning it now, but that'll be a whole other video. So thanks for tuning in. If you've got questions, let us know. Things honestly weren't really that difficult as far as getting it there. It's really tight spaces. Um, the, honestly, the only thing that really held us up mostly was the H with the HKS. Uh, what's the, the ring? snap ring? Snap ring. Yeah, that thing. That thing gave us the most trouble. So we went to Advanced Auto Parts, bought a tool that has a billion accessories that we'll probably never use again. But it was great. It's heavy duty, and it got it in there no problem. Still connected to the car. We didn't have to actually take the XL pipe off, or I guess the cool side of the pipe off. And it all went well. So good to go now. We're praying that it stays that way. And so uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Check it out. Definitely check out CP and get you one. Uh, I have the HKS. Jonathan has the tile. Love both of them. Makes it in driving and in driving around just so much better. That's the best pitch I can give. You. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric, hit us up. Tell us about our favorite podcast out there. What we got? All right, so y'all need to check out the What the What podcast. If you're a big fan of Beards and Boots, but well, we have one third of them on the What the What podcast, the one that you just saw talking, okay? If you like pop culture, nerdy stuff, comic books, anything, we talk about it every week on the What the What podcast. Search for What the What Media. All one word. word. What? And all all one, one word. word. On any of your favorite podcasting platforms or also on YouTube as well. Uh, and we want to give a big shout out to the Beards and Boost crew. Uh, we had both Kyle and Bobby on a couple of weeks ago to talk about the Fast and Furious, the first movie. And uh, they did a good job explaining all the car stuff that I had no idea about because that's their, that's their forte. It's not mine. I'm just good at running my mouth. So, what the what podcast, Beards and Boost, we appreciate y'all. And y'all have a good one. Woo!